Newsletters are one of the most profitable things nowadays, and to use Beehive, well, it's only just the tool. You probably have your own niche. You probably know how to write, or maybe you just hire someone to write that for you. But if you have all of that, if you have the niche, if you already have some sort of online world presence, whatever. It is important. Newsletters can be monetized, and you can get a lot of leads. That's what the whole internet is about today. So I'm going to show you how to use Beehive today. Just to get this clear, I'm not affiliating for them. I'm not going to put a link there. This video will just show you how to go and create yourself a newsletter using this tool. Before I even used Substack, but I just didn't like it. In fact, I just liked this one more. So let's just start with it. First of all, of course, you see you can start yourself a 14-day free trial. But if you go over to the pricing section, you can see that up to 2.5 thousand subscribers, you don't have to pay nothing. You know, so they call it like a launch. Later, when you just go over 2,500 subscribers, you can and will go over to this one. But you know, it's gonna be a long time when you just hit like 2,500 subscribers, or if you're just starting now, that is. But if you already have, you can import all of your emails list from certain other platform. I'm gonna talk about that later on. But this is for beginners. You can start for free. As you can see, unlimited sends. You can make it like weekly, daily, monthly, whatever. You've got all of the analytics that you need, and you can just click on Get Started with Launch. Make yourself an account. Just click on Create One. Complete this simple information, and let's just go inside. Now, when you get inside of this one, this is like a new account. Right away, you can see here, Ride. Well, hence the name. You can just start writing these posts. You can just click here as well. If you don't know how to ride, Just use someone else, right? Fiverr is a good place. There's a lot of people that will not rip you off. That's how I started. But let's get back to the dashboard. Here under the grow, you've got a lot of options which will help you to grow your subscriber list. All right. So you've got referral program. Recommendations and some magic links and boosts. Now, I do recommend that you get the subscribers with value. That's your primary concern. That's maybe the most important part. Initially, you just get few subscribers over social media, but then after it, the best way in order to grow your newsletter, your list of subscribers, is to just give good value to those people, and then it's going to be done on autopilot. Those people that you already have. Will recommend the newsletter to others. You have to have this in mind, though. People are subscribing to newsletters to read news coverage, to learn something new, or to get exclusive deals. Yeah, that's right. That's the monetization part. People actually buy a lot through emails. Who would think? Because of all of this social media, blah blah blah. People still buy through emails. Remember that. That is where all of this will come into play. You have subscriptions, partner programs, certain ads. Then you've got audience tab where you can just track all of your subscribers, all of your polls, survey forms if you've ever did one, and of course analyze. This is really really important for you. And then down there you've got a lot of these like learn sections, which can be useful to you if you are just a beginner. Now if you scroll down. They will give you these like boost offers. This is essentially just partnering up with some bigger people, you know, in order for you to get some money. But I think if you are just starting now, you can forget about this one, right? Now, from the dashboard, if you already have certain subscribers from somewhere else, or you ran a newsletter on a different platform, that's what happened to me. I was on Substack, and I wanted to get those subscribers onto my Beehive newsletter. So essentially, you just wanted to change the provider, right? Now they won't mind, but there is a limit on this because they just want to keep out all of those like people that just put other people's emails by random. You know, there are a lot of those people. So when you actually go to your audience and your subscribers, you can go to import subscribers. But depending on what count of subscribers you already have, you will have this limit. As you can see, this limit counts across all of your publications, and is not the same as the subscriber limit associated with your plan. So this is what you can import. Not something that will get essentially like subscribed through website or whatever you used. So if you want to import, you can just click here. I actually contacted the support, and I just wanted to explain to them because I was just transferring from Substack to Beehive, and you have to do that. You know, you have to do that because 
you just take a few screenshots and they will be happily to import those subscribers but they do have to know where did you get them from so no funny business you can actually raise your import limit here if you are just like really really popular if you want to raise your import limit to 10k but you have to be identity verified with stripe and you have to contact the support so that's what you gotta do you can import content as well by clicking here on import content if you already have certain publications elsewhere or a blog or something like that and all of your boosts are going to be here so boosts as they say here it's the easiest way to monetize your newsletter without lifting a finger right i mean it's not going to be without lifting a finger you already wrote those you just invested time and effort but this is a good thing to think about later down the road but if you already have certain subscriber list you can use this now it'll also generate leads for you so it's a good thing. Beehive is really settled up. Now, you have Ad Network by clicking on Monetization and Ads. This will, of course, just serve the ads to your subscribers, right? They will be inside of your niche and companies know that and they're ready to pour millions of dollars into something like this because they know that their products are going to go in front of the right audience. So if you're niche as, I don't know, fitness, there's going to be Nike, Adidas, a lot of these fitness companies that know that their products their ads their money will go in front of the right audience you know that's why this works you know everything is like in these buckets and all of your behavior online is being tracked so for example if you are looking for a car you probably notice that whenever you just searching for something you've got an ad for it the next day you know so that's why this works and that's why there is a lot of money on the internet and of course that's why it's really good to have your own newsletter get it because if you own your niche if you know a lot about it if you are interested in the niche that you want to go with you know that's going to be a lot easier for you and you can just get side hustle out of it without actually doing a lot and especially if you just like writing you know if you mix those two well it's a win-win combo. I mean, you've probably heard about Milk Road. This is one of the most successful newsletters because they did it all in like six months. Now, that's just crazy, you know? And they do have some strategies. People have just like broken apart their strategy. And that is to take an existing model that works and apply it to your niche. And the niche can be anything. Anything that you love, that you have passion for. And I honestly suggest that you use a lot of social media because... If you have certain presence on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, be sure to promote yourself there, right? Or what you can do if you have some money to invest is to run ads. You know, you can run ads on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube in order to just get certain people subscribed to your newsletter. That is if you have some money to invest and if you have a clear strategy on how you would monetize this. And it is true that Beehive is going to help you. They've got a lot of these opportunities, a lot of monetization options. You can, of course, make this into a paid subscription later down the road there is one thing that is called partner program this is you just being an affiliate forum but you get 50 percent of the revenue which is real cool and you've got these boosts that we've talked about earlier i'm gonna repeat this one of the best side hustles that you can find online so if you have a niche if you're thinking about it go now the sooner you start the better it's gonna be wish you good luck